Hello, my loves. Mwah. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be another pick a card reading. So before I do um, some more like moving and packing, I was like, I got to bring you guys a pick a card. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for all your support. Thank you guys so much for all your kindness in general and all of your support that you guys have given me. I will be back to my regular um, postings on Instagram as well once I get settled in at the end of the month. Um, and also for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome in you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. So I am a psychic medium. For those of you who are new, I do read tarot intuitively. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient and I am a medium. Um, I offer mediumship based readings. All that information will be below to book a personal. Um, I am kind of booked you guys. I, so I'm not like urgently booking sessions right now, but um, I am taking on clients as I get openings, but also with this move, I am moving a bit out of my city. So give me time, you guys, because I'm trying to get everything taken care of all at once. So if I have not been able to respond to your email, please allow me some time. I've had a few clients email me um, maybe two times before I was able to respond, okay? Um, and if you don't hear from me at all, then after maybe a third attempt, then sometimes, you know, intuitively my energy may, you know, my guides may just tell me it's just not the right time or I'm not supposed to read for you or I always listen to my intuition now, you guys. Um, energy is currency, you know. Um, energy is really important to protect. So, you know, just shoot me an email and we'll see what we can do, you know. But so far I've had really great experiences. My clients, you guys have been amazing. You guys are wonderful. Um, so, everything's all good there. If you would like to donate to my channel, you guys, I would absolutely love that. I have my Amazon wish list at the bottom. I also have my cash app at the bottom and I also have an indie deck wish list. So if you feel extra generous, just ask me about my shipping address and we can work something out. Okay. Check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I also um, give Reiki sessions, healing sessions for free, or I would say complimentary um, when I feel guided to or when, you know, I really have all that energy. I definitely share um, a lot of healing sessions with you guys. I am angelic Reiki certified by an amazing Reiki master teacher that I absolutely adore and she's a part of my Instagram as well. So, um, and also I am on path to becoming an Osui Reiki master, but you know, I'm still working on my levels for that one. Either way, check me out. If you have any more questions, email me, let me know what's up. And I am so excited to bring this, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, Hit the notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, don't forget to share my videos on your story. You guys get my content out there so I can do more pick a card readings. Let me know if this resonates and just, yeah, let's jump in, okay? I went ahead and channeled some extra messages. You know, you know I love doing this. I love this. This adds a, a zest to it, okay? So what are they thinking and what are they feeling? So we're going to do a mix of both about this connection. So let's jump in to the deck choices, okay? The first one is the Thelema. Bear with me, you guys, on the deck choices because I have not, you know, moved all my stuff yet. So I only have a limited amount of decks right now. Thelema, Pile 1, Modern Witch Tarot, Pile 2, Okay, and then the Lioness Oracle, Pile 3. This was actually um, gifted by one of my clients. So thank you so much for investing in us, in this channel. So I'm happy to be able to use it today, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look here with the Lioness Oracle Tarot as the third choice. Take a deep breath, think about your connection, and then we can go from there. What are they thinking and what are they feeling? I'm already getting downloads. <laughs> okay. Um, pause the video if you need more time. Okay. Perfect. 
let's go ahead and get a channeled message from your person. Pile one, what are they thinking and what are they feeling? Okay. All right, pile one. So let's start with your message. Give me one sec. You ready for this? I can't escape these feelings. So I decided to take a step back. I can't really come back right now. And I also can't find the words to explain my sincere gratitude for all the love you have given me. I am on a new journey and I am constantly reminded by you and the love you have given me. So this person, <laughs> they sound a little conflicted. Okay. So that's a message for you. That's a special message that they have for you. So I feel like this is someone who is a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. I am having a vision of the scorpion tail here. I'm also having a vision of the yin yang symbol representing masculine and feminine energies. So this person is definitely a potential twin flame connection. I am seeing a vision of um, water as well. So this person is very intuitive and in tune with your emotions and so are you, okay? So I do feel There's a lot of shadow energy surrounding this connection right now. I'm having a vision of a lot of shadow energy. I'm not seeing too much light. So I feel both of you guys have been very confused about this connection. Your person actually has a little bit of some depression that they're hiding from you and people around you. I feel like this person is definitely really good at hiding um, maybe some, some mental... Um, I would say just some, not even mental, but emotional challenges that they're having. They're very prideful. So what this person tends to do is they tend to run when things get hard, okay? But it's something about, I'm hearing, there's something about your light that has helped this person um, continue on their path. Okay. Wow. This person is really overwhelmed by this connection. This person, I'm having a vision of them running. So they're running from you. They're running from your light. They're running from your, your connection. This person, I'm hearing them say, like, I just can't do this right now. This person's name is George, or they, they have a name with a G here. The G is coming up very prominent. This person has had a very, very, very challenging upbringing in childhood is what my guides are saying, okay? Um, I feel like this situation has been very karmic. It's been very painful for both of you. This person, again, with the free yourself in reverse, it's like they're coming out of a mental prison. This person, again, the whole vision of them running away from you and this connection, they're definitely thinking that they have escaped you or they've escaped this connection, not because they don't love you, but because the, the intensity. This is such a twin flame. Oh my God. I'm actually curious. Is this twin, is this a twin flame or is this a soulmate? I just added this, so we're gonna do this. Let's see. Or a karmic, what is this? What did I say? What did I say? Twin flame, absolutely. I feel it. It's like your person is the runner. So they're thinking they've escaped this connection, okay? Um, I feel like this person is trying to remove themselves from the intensity that you are provoking within them. Both of you guys are triggering each other tremendously and it's like uncomfortable. So what are they thinking, pile one? Um, I'm, I had a vision of the collective energy, you guys. You guys are definitely Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or you are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be Earth, could be air, um, water, I'm sorry, fire. But I'm having a vision of you guys pulling this boat. You're pulling on this rope. Your person is on this boat. 
okay? You're trying to pull this person back to shore. Like you're trying to get this person back to shore on, on you know, solid ground. And this person is resisting. So some of you guys have definitely been pursuing your divine masculine or feminine. And the more you have been pursuing this person, the more they have been running from you. So very typical for twin flame, okay? Your journey, they are thinking about love yourself. Both of you guys are on a journey right now in regards to your own self-esteem, your own self-worth. This person, listen, your divine masculine is halfway in this, halfway out. They are so afraid of the amount of love that you have triggered. I'm hearing no one has ever given, um, I don't know why I said him, but them the love that you have given and inspired in their heart chakra energy and they are literally, um, they're in shock or they just do not know how to respond to this. They don't know what to make of this. Um, and it's kind of stirring up a lot of their childhood energies. So their thoughts here are about them not wanting to be in a, a restricted environment. Your person is very um, free. They could also be a Sagittarius. I'm hearing the number 17 here. 18, 20, 15. So these numbers are very prominent where there you could expect some kind of change around those dates or this is something past. But I am getting 17 very strong, okay? And if we look at the number seven, the number seven is um, about someone who is very highly spiritual, someone who is on path to becoming a spiritual teacher or they are very awkward, or it's like an Aquarian energy. They don't feel like they belong on this planet. It's a high frequency angelic number. It's definitely a number about moving on a path of spiritual wisdom. So your person is on this journey to really explore why they feel disconnected with the world around them, why they're not connecting to people the way they would like, and it's, it's unfortunate because your masculine or your feminine is really pulling from their shadow energy right now. So the more you are loving them, the more they are pushing you away. Your love reminds them of the several times, wow, this is really painful. My heart just like, <laughs> ooh, um, your love reminds them a lot about the times that they had to move through foster care systems and they were constantly reminded that they didn't have a home. For some, that may not resonate for everyone, okay? But this person definitely has some deep wounding surrounding home and what it represents, their fourth house, their Chiron placements. Like, what is it that they're really supposed to do on this earth? And they don't show this, but these are their thoughts, okay? So what are their feelings towards this connection right now? I am having a vision of um, a club scene. This person maybe either works at a club, they're either a bartender, they're a bouncer, or they are very big on a club scene, on a party scene to numb. They like to numb and they like to party, okay? In this person's heart space, they know, they know that you are someone very special, that you represent alchemy, that you represent an evolution, a movement forward away from all their karma, away from their past. You represent, I'm hearing hope. This person has a little brother or a sibling. I'm having a vision of a, of a like a sibling energy here. And, and it's like, they look at their life and they look at the sibling and I remember them, you know, I don't know why I said that. Wow. Wow. I'm straight channeling right now. I'm feeling like they are saying, I remember telling my little brother or sister, but I'm seeing a brother here about you and how you make me want the home and the life that I never had. 
in their heart space, they know that you are a past life connection because they don't understand why they keep feeling very passionate towards you, very drawn towards you, very loving towards you, okay? With the wedding card in their heart, they know that you are their twin. This person cannot deny these emotions, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the religious factors. So there is an age difference or differences in values. Now, this person has a deep fear of expressing anything. They've taken a step back. They've moved away from this connection. They they can't. It's like they've they've done this whole like, I'm going to move on without you. But the reality is, as most twin flame unions, they don't go that far because, you know, you're always pulled back to your twin no matter what, no matter how far you go. That feeling never goes away. That feeling of destiny never goes away. You can separate yourself by free will. You don't have to end up with your twin flame, okay? You don't necessarily have to. There's always an option to end up with um, a soulmate energy. So let's look at the thoughts again with the tarot. Yeah, you give this person a lot of anxiety when they talk to you. Wow. I'm also having a vision of um, a basket of fruit. So this person thinks that you're very uh, abundant, okay? This person feels like you, you're very abundant and that you're going to bring a lot of abundance to the table. With the King of Swords in reverse, this person is having a hard time communicating. So their thoughts are that their thoughts are clouded. They feel like they don't really know what they're thinking about this right now. They don't really know. They don't want to express it. They, they're feeling like they're, they're not open to communication right now. This person also, wow, all these are meant to be. I feel like this came out this way for a reason. So I'm going to take it with the five of pentacles, with the high priestess. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the ace of cups in reverse. This person is thinking that they feel left out in the cold by you. They look at you and they feel like you're very mysterious. Some of you guys are psychics, healers, you're spiritualists, okay? But you bring spiritual knowledge to the table. You're very wise and they know that you're very mysterious. This energy that they're feeling is very mysterious and they're wondering why they are thinking that you've left them out in the cold. I don't feel that is true. I feel like you have invited them to heal. You have invited them in the fifth dimension to, to come into union to heal. You've invited them in the 3D to come into a journey of healing with you, not just them. This is about both of you in a twin flame situation. And this person is thinking, wow, I can't keep, I, I just, it's like you're a trigger. You're a trigger to their past, to their subconscious, the, their inner knowing, their secrets. They feel like you know their secrets. There's something about you. You could also be a Scorpio. There's something about you where they feel like you know their deepest, darkest secrets, and this scares them. For some of you, this person was homeless. They didn't have money. Their thoughts, you know, they, they're kind of in this poverty consciousness as well. Like, they're also in a negative mindset when it comes to money or finances or success because of their upbringing. There's been a lot of, you know, the King of Swords for me in reverse talks about someone who has a lot of that toxic masculinity energy, um, prejudices that they haven't cleared. This could be racism of some kind or just negative connotations or conditioning like negative conditioning that they've learned from their family, okay? So they're thinking that they don't understand how you always know or they can feel you. They feel your energy and they don't know how you're doing this. So they're very, they think you are incredibly mysterious is what I'm hearing, okay? 
and they love your cat eyes. Some of you guys have cat eyes or beautiful eyes. They, they are thinking about you in this way that you are absolutely intelligent. You're sexy. You're like, you're the high priestess. Like you don't reveal your secrets and you also don't reveal your body. So you guys may be very modest when it comes to dressing as well. Like maybe you show a little bit, like, you know, you'll show a little shoulder or something, but that's it. You know, you're not really big on showing all of your body. Okay. What are their thoughts? Pile one. What are their thoughts about you? It's like they are afraid that you can see. This is getting juicy. They are afraid that you're able to see that that despite their outer shell, their outer layer of toughness, the bravery of being so, you know, intense that you really know how they feel and that they're really depressed. Okay. This person is on a journey of self-fulfillment to find themselves okay and they know that you know they're it's like you are the high priestess and they know that you know about them so they're thinking like this is it's tough to come back to you and they're afraid this is why i'm on a new journey like bye i gotta go because you you and you provoke enormous amount of triggers because you guys know what this person is feeling at all times okay and you also know that they're struggling with their inner strength and their son i'm hearing that some of you guys have sent messages to this person that has completely shocked them like these are psychic messages um intuitive messages and this person was like in shock that you knew that okay so this kind of scared them even more they are used to you know your person is used to um a very superficial lifestyle they're used to telling people yeah i'm good everything's fine but and no one can see right through them you can see right through them so how are they feeling about you pal one oh i'm hearing destiny and design this represents that they feel that they know they are fated to be with you that this is destiny at play your person is very intuitive as well so i feel like they've been talking to their ancestors about you they're trying to tune in but they need to do this at a distance this person does not feel comfortable being in a relationship with you and trying to figure out like they need to be at a distance okay so how are they feeling about you right now there's something about control. They don't really want to be controlled. Maybe you guys showed and exerted some, some kind of dominance or um, maybe exerted some sort of assertiveness with them that kind of pulled, it, it, it didn't turn them off. It just scared them because they're not used to you. You're like a galactic being to them, okay? How are they feeling about you right now, pal one? I'm hearing the rope of destiny. So this is such a powerful, com I mean, a connection. Wow. This is powerful. This person loves to wear bracelets. Okay. And they are a, a clean freak. This person cleans all the time. They're very big on like organization as well. How are they feeling about you right now, pile one? I'm hearing them say, we will meet again. I feel like they're going to contact you via message, but their their heart space is very clouded right now, okay? Like, I feel like things have been kind of surfacing, I'm hearing. Maybe some um, there's been some gossip about you or assumptions that are making this person feel kind of negative about you right now. And there's a lot of ego, okay, with the Six of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of ego, but they know that you are a prize. This person feels like they want to communicate and apologize for a truth that came out, okay? They're also making assumptions about you while watching you online. But overall, this is an energy of them wanting to apologize for their behavior because this person has not been living in their truth. They have not been um, honoring your divinity and they also have not been honoring themselves, okay? This person has a lion for a spirit animal right now. This is their spirit animal. And you guys, I feel like you guys are represented by the cheetah or the fox. I'm seeing two animals here. Go ahead and, and do your research on that. But that those are really powerful. Now we have the Hierophant and the Star in Reverse. This person is feeling 
um, unhappy right now. They are feeling really unhappy and maybe they're blinded by tradition or they're blinded by responsibilities that they don't want to have right now. There's something with the Hierophant in reverse. There's something, this could also be about their sexuality in their heart space. Maybe they want to kind of express the truth to you. Maybe this person is bisexual or, um, you know, whatever. Maybe they're exploring other, other sexual, you know, um, energies here or identities and this person feels like they want to tell you what's going on so this is in their heart space I feel like they're just lacking motivation for a relationship right now because they're still living in the six of cups in reverse energy they're still very much wounded by their childhood of not having enough money of not having enough abundance or love or what their perception of this is this is blocking their heart space right now, but they do love you. You know, as I said, they do love you. Look what, what's at the bottom of the deck. The two of cups, they respect you. They honor you. It's like they have an inner knowing with the judgment card, the ace of wands. Okay. They have like an inner knowing that you are their person and they're very attracted to you. But as of right now, this person is very fearful, but I will say expect some communication. I feel like they're going to just apologize for their behavior. Like they're just going to come out and apologize to you. I'm hearing they're going to say something along the lines of, I shouldn't have said what I said and I'm sorry. Okay. So expect that from your person. All right, let's move on here. Okay. All right, pile two. What are the thoughts of your person? What are they thinking and what are they feeling right now? Let's get a channeled message. So what I've been doing is I've just been um, clarifying if this is a divine counterpart or a karmic connection. Usually what I'm doing when it comes to that, and I also have channeled messages and I'm super excited. Um, if it's a karmic partnership, I usually say that means it's just a regular kind of connection that is teaching you a lesson. But other ones are definitely a little more high vibrational. So pile two, let's go ahead and get your, your card, um, your message from your person. Okay, so let's see here, pile two. Let's get your message from your person. Okay. My love, our connection feels real, but I can't quite make out the words. I feel I sabotaged us. It's been cold without you. Are you thinking of me? So this person is really feeling the distance, okay? So let's see if this is a twin. I'm just curious. I'm just going to add it to the video. Is this a twin flame, a soulmate, or a karmic connection, please? I'm hearing past life. Strong past life connections, past life karma is what I'm hearing my spirit guides say. So soulmate, okay? This is your soulmate energy. Um, there's been several incarnations here that you and your person, your wow, your person is feeling very sad without you. They are feeling very regretful. Um, whatever they did in this connection, they are really feeling it right now. I'm having a vision of them being on a road and they're reaching for your hand and they're asking for forgiveness, okay? So this is definitely something very intense. What are their thoughts about you? This person's name starts with an S, Steve, or there's an S here, first, middle, last name, okay? What are their thoughts about you? There's an S in their name. This person, they can't stop thinking about you, but it's almost like they want you to do the work because I feel, you know, they're afraid. So listen, this person is thinking, I feel like this connection ended on a very interesting note. It was like, it was almost like it happened unexpectedly. You know what I mean? Like this connection kind of had an ending unexpectedly. So I feel like they've been thinking about the fact that, you know, 
they look at you and they think you are marriage material. This person acknowledges how worthy you are of something serious, of you know a situation that's very um, strong, a situation meaning when I say very strong, a situation that requires a long-term commitment. They know what you're worth. This person can feel you in the fifth dimension. There's so much energy here. But it's like they're thinking they want you to make the effort. Like they feel like you've been deceiving them is what I'm hearing. Because they can't quite pinpoint your behavior. But the reality is I feel my viewers, you're a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You guys have been trying to remove yourself from this connection because you feel like this person... It's almost like they've only been taking from you. I'm hearing they've just been taking from you. So you're trying to kind of, you know, you're different from what they're used to. So they can't quite pinpoint what it is about you, but they just know they really think that you are someone who's very respectable, who has a lot of honor, and they really like you. But um, they feel like this is definitely something of heavy karmic cycle. As I said, intuitively, there's so much karma being played out, you guys. Like you may feel like when you talk to this person, a surge of energy rushes through your body, okay? But this person feels like there's something you're hiding from them. Like maybe you're not telling them the truth or maybe there's something off about this connection, okay? So what are their thoughts? I'm sorry, what are their feelings? Pile two. Oh, wow. You know what song is coming to mind? This person is... Um, they are, if I ever cross your mind, anytime Brian McKnight, this is the song. They really feel like this about you. They're wondering, they're wondering if you feel the same way. How are they feeling about you in the wedding card after shuffling five times? You guys, this person is absolutely in love with you. They think that they feel like you are their person, like they want to marry you. Okay, this person, their feelings are incredibly strong. So how are they feeling about you, pile two? This person is having some sexual thoughts about you, just saying. Their feelings are very... <laughs> their feelings are very much caught up with their, uh, their libido. Okay, so I am having a vision of um, a water, like a... Um, I am having a vision of like a like a, um, a water park, okay? So this is also a representation of their feelings towards you, the intensity, like they are on um, a water slide and it's like they have no control over their emotions. They don't understand how in the world you have this kind of power over them, okay? So how are they feeling about you right now, pile two? I wish I could take back what I said. So this person may have said something really brutal, okay? So worth waiting for. They feel like you're worth it, like you're worth waiting for, you're worth really building with, okay? So I feel like there's a, definitely a separation here with no contact. Um, it's like they know. I feel like this person messed it up, you know? They know. They know. If anything, they want to kind of come back and apologize for their words. I'm looking at the letter, you guys. I just want to make sure. Yeah, they feel like this connection is real. And, and your person is saying, I feel like I sabotaged this. I sabotaged this. It's been cold without you. Are you thinking of me? They want to know how you really feel, though. You know? <laughs> this person really likes to eat. They love food. Wow, they love food. They're obsessed. Like, they want to take you out to eat. Like... <laughs> Like one of your dates, when this person asks you out, they're going to go straight for like a buffet style or food. They love food. So there's like a lot of Taurian energy pulling through here. So they are feeling, um, let your friends help you uh, release control and reverse and codependency. Okay. So they feel like they are afraid of you. And the reason why they distanced and sabotaged is because your presence had a lot of control over their emotions with all this water, all these visions that I'm having of them begging to get you back. They feel like you're the one for them. They did not like to feel in control of, of, I mean, they didn't like to feel like you had that kind of control over them. They thought you put a spell on them is what I'm hearing. They thought you did something to them. 
So what is this let your friends help you for their feelings? There could also be a third party that they're not telling you about. This person already has a wife or a husband and a family. I, you know what? Like these cards, hands down. So they feel like they know they've been very uh, secretive, sneaky, being kind of deceptive when they talk to you. They know they've been juggling you and maybe the family life. And a lot of them are feeling, um, it's like this, this is what triggered them is that they feel, you know, so deeply for you but they are all, they've already got a situation at home. So it's been so hard for them to like break free because you have really triggered an awakening in their heart that no one has ever done for them. And they feel very codependent on you, on your light is what I'm hearing, on your, your, your sun. Like you guys represent the sun. So you may be a Leo, Sag, Aries. Gemini is strong here. Could be an Aquarius. Okay, could be an Aquarius, could be um, a Cancer. Look at that. Codependency. They are attracted to you. A lot of you guys may be a little bit older than this person. You have more money or more status, but they're codependent to your mothering nature or your nurturing nature. Some of you guys are very uh, healing. You're very giving. You gave this person a lot of love that they maybe didn't have in the past and they're very dependent on that, okay? So, wow, this person is really feeling this connection so deep, but they are in a third party. This is why we have worth waiting for at the bottom of the deck, okay? So let's look at the tarot and clarify. So what are they, their thoughts about you? Firm foundation. They're trying to establish a firm, firm foundation before they come back to you, okay? They were at a stalemate about you, but I feel like they are coming to terms about this connection. They're making a decision. What are their thoughts about you? Absolutely, you've inspired a new beginning. There's a lot of passion. What did I say, my intuition? That they were coming from a place of libido. Yes, honey, they think you are the bomb.com. They think you are fine. They really find you very attractive, okay? So what are they thinking? What are their thoughts? They think you're very passionate about everything you do in life. Some of you guys are creative people. You sell like creative things on Etsy or you have your own business and everything you do is very passionate, okay? Everything you do is driven by your heart space energy and they really respect, the, like they respect that. They're thinking the situation is stressing them out because they need to make a decision here. So they can't stop thinking about you. This person goes to sleep thinking about you. They're obsessing over you. So with the seven of pentacles here, um, I feel like this is about their thoughts is that they're waiting, This that, that this is worth the wait. Like they need to wait to come you know, towards you because they don't feel good enough right now. They're not really satisfied with their life. And they also got a third party. So this is what's stressing them out. They're having to try to block their emotions, you know, from you and from this situation to try to get themselves right. What am I smelling right now? It smells like paint, you guys. Anyway. What are they feeling? So let's see what they're feeling. So their mind, they're very stressed out, okay? This person, um, they spend a lot of time alone. They do, they think about their emotions a lot. They do think about their life a lot. Um, this person does not want to be with their wife or their husband anymore, um, but they can't really give you a reason why. I don't think, I just don't feel like this is for them is what I'm feeling. So how are they feeling about you? Another high priestess file. I mean, pile. Oh my God. I can't talk to you guys. I need to do some Reiki on my throat chakra. So forgive me. I gotta, I gotta do my cleanse. So high priestess, the tower in reverse. They are feeling like you know everything about this person. Again, this is another pile where you are very spiritual. You're very in tune with the, the occult. You are in tune with your spirituality, with the hidden knowledge and secrets. And it's like, they feel like, <laughs> wow, this person feels 
like you are incredibly knowledgeable, you're very loving, you're very healing, that you're a healer, but they also know that they are trying to control the way they feel about you. They are losing their mind, honey. Strong Aries energy, um, Sag, Leo is coming through strong, okay? This could also be, um, I'm hearing Sag for sure, but this could also be a Virgo or, you know, Earth, fire. They're trying so hard to control the situation from getting out of hand. Like, it's like they, they feel like you're just watching them suffer. Like, you just know how are they feeling about you. This person may have a son or a daughter. They may have a child in this marriage. Yeah, it's like they... <laughs> They're not happy. They're not happy in their current situation, but they feel like they're having a hard time moving away from you and this other relationship. So they're like in deep conflict. They don't know which way to go. How are they feeling about you? So they know being with you is a massive opp opportunity here, but they just don't know how to like they just don't know how to make it towards you. They know you're an opportunity, but they need to make a decision. They're feeling at a stalemate. They know they need to kind of take their blindfold off. They need to make a decision about you, but they just can't. And they know they have a special connection towards you. They want to love you. I'm hearing this person wants to gift you something. So they feel like you are their one. Okay? So that's how they're feeling and that's what they're thinking about you right now. Let's move on to pile three. Okay, pile three. You ready for this? channeled message. Um, I wonder and regret my actions. So this person has been thinking about their actions. When I look up at, excuse me, when I look up and see a full moon, it makes me think of you. You are so rare. I can't replace you. So this person is definitely understanding that you are a rarity. The moon reminds them of you. So there's something, a connection here to the moon energy. So what I've been doing with all the other piles is I've been kind of getting it down to, is this a soulmate, karmic, or twin flame? A karmic is usually someone that's a regular kind of connection, but they're teaching us about our spiritual growth. Okay, so pile three, is this a soulmate, a, a twin flame, a karmic? Oh, I'm hearing smoke and mirror. There was a lot of deception here. There was just like a lot of confusion around this connection. This person thought you were like everyone else. This is a karmic partner, okay? So this person thought you were like everyone else. I'm having a vision of a lot of uh, smoke um, and it, it's like fogging up the vision here. It's like completely diluting the vision I'm having. So this is a lot of like unclear energy in regards to your person. I'm hearing they're under the illusion, like they don't know what to believe, but you are definitely rare and they know it. And I'm almost getting that they treated you like they would have treated anyone else. And they realized quickly that you were not like anyone else. <laughs> So this person has been regretting this ever since. Like, I'm getting a huge energy of regret here, okay? Wow, this is powerful. Your person is definitely really sad without you. I'm having a vision of them and they're really sad. This person might be shorter than you. Or they're very uh, thin on a thinner side. I'm hearing um, JR, this person may have the initials of JR, like a junior, maybe this person is a junior after their father. I'm hearing completion. So you guys definitely completed a karmic cycle together. So what are their thoughts right now about this connection, pile three? You're dealing with um, another person here, it could be Daniel or someone with a D. 
This is a Aquarius energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Gemini, Libra, could be Virgo, could also be Sagittarius, or could be Fire, okay? So what are their thoughts about you? True love. This person played themselves because they treated you like you were just a whatever, honey, and uh-uh. I don't think they real, like, they are really into you. Flirt. They've been in their head about you. So this could be a karmic partner, but it's like a soulmate, a higher level soulmate with a lot of karma. So you guys may have incarnated several times and there's a lot of karma to clear out. So maybe this isn't just a karmic connection. This could also be like you guys are clearing out some heavy karma from I'm hearing seven past lives. I'm hearing the number seven here. Some of you guys may have told this person that this was your soulmate or your divine counterpart or there was kind of an expression of affection with that and this person was like, what? There was like a red flag all around. This person isn't really spiritual. They're more 3D based. They really um, look at this connection from a place of physicality. They think you're very good looking. Um, I am having a vision that this person walked, like you walked away from them and they had to watch you walk away from them. What's going on in this connection with pile three? So what are they thinking? So there's something about this connection that feels very challenging and it worries them. I'm hearing uphill battles. And I'm also seeing a vision of a red tri triangle. So this person may also be worried about their foundation, their financial foundation right now. What are their thoughts about you? Yeah, see, money is coming up real strong here. What are their thoughts about you? So I feel like this person is also conflicted because there was a lot of heavy communication between you guys, like painful communication. Their thoughts are that they really watch you to see what you've been up to. This person really cares about what you've been doing without them. Um, but they're seeing you as someone who... It's almost like they feel like they, their mind, they feel like you're going to be someone they have to take care of. There's something about you that they think is high maintenance, despite feeling, I'm, I'm sorry, despite thinking that you are true love. They feel like maybe your, your way of um, living or your lifestyle is too high maintenance for them. Um, they feel like this is not a traditional relationship that they are used to. They're thinking that you don't fit into their tradition is what I'm hearing. And there's been a lot of back and forth energy, a lot of harsh communication. I feel like you guys have been trying to figure each other out, but they think like this has been very painful for them. With the justice card, I feel like they have a deep understanding that this connection is something that was supposed to happen even though they're not the most spiritual, but they have a deep understanding. With the Justice card, this is also about uh, balance. So they may also see and think that you are very balanced or that you bring a lot of justice into the world. Some of you guys work in a field of healing or justice. Um, maybe your counselors, your social justice majors or law, uh, but they think that you like to protect people, you know, that you're very big on protecting. They think you're absolutely beautiful. They want to touch your hands. This person's really big on hands. I don't know why, but they love hands. Um, they think you're very soft and feminine. If you are a feminine, if you're a masculine, they think you're very masculine, okay? So how are they feeling about you, pile three? They can't believe you like them. This person is like, I can't believe it. Like there's something about you that, that's so rare. They can't believe it. So how do they feel about you? They feel like they don't have enough money to support you. They, uh, somebody here thinks that you are high maintenance is what I'm hearing. I don't know why, but that's what's coming up. How are they feeling about you? This person feels like they have a lot of pressure from people around them that do not agree with this connection. You guys may have a different religion or a background here. How do they feel about you? Okay, 
So this is like bothering them. It's weighing heavy on them. Again, the tradition card, the high priest in reverse. There's something that's taboo about this connection and they feel like there's just a lot in the way. Like they're wondering, I'm hearing, how are you gonna fit into my life? How are you gonna fit in? Because they're surrounded by people who have a specific thought process or a specific lifestyle. They are feeling with the Page of Pentacles that this connection isn't growing right now, that they don't have enough finances. I feel like they feel like they're not good enough for you right now. They're, they're really struggling with their self-esteem, even though they know that you're very different and you're very special. They are very guarded. This person is very guarded with their emotions. They're afraid. They may even be musicians. Um, maybe this person, um, instead of maybe telling you how they feel, maybe they focus on music to express how they feel about you. But they're still very protective. This isn't someone to openly express their emotions. They can't. This person is very prideful, okay? With the moon card, I'm sorry. Yeah, the moon card in reverse, this person feels like they have a little more clarity on the situation. They're feeling more clear about you. And they also feel that it's about divine timing that you were meant to meet. This person is starting to realize that despite you not fitting into their circle or their ideal partnership, that you were meant to meet each other. This is destiny at play. Whatever you guys experienced, I'm hearing you help them kind of step into their power or um, you may have helped them with their career is what I'm hearing. And they know that you've been a big catalyst to this change. So this um, internally is something that they know was divinely guided, that you are very divine and that you were sent from, you know, the heavens to them. They know this is a spiritual connection. Despite them not really being in tune, I feel like deep down their soul is triggered by you. So they know with the King of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands, they do want to gift you something. They want to come in as a provider. They want to talk to you and show you their gems. They want to show you how they can honor you. Because again, it's almost like money is an issue or they feel like they want to gift you something to show you their love. This person is... Uh, they give gifts as a way to show you that they love you. They do not express love well at all. This person is not a communicator, okay? This person is, I'm hearing, acts of service, and they give gifts to show you how much they love you. So that's how they're feeling. They're coming out of this confusion. I feel like despite not having the same religion or background or age, this person wants to take a leap of faith with you. Let's get one more. I'm guided to get one more. They definitely want to take a leap of faith with you, okay? They do. They want to offer you something, and they will. They're going to offer you something with the Page of Cups. But again, with the Hermit in reverse, they're not really completely healed, okay? So the offer isn't going to be massive. It's going to be more of like, let's talk to each other. Let's text. Let's see. Um, but the Hermit in reverse is them not wanting to do the work they need to do on themselves to meet you. But... If you allow it to flow without control issues, um, without trying to control your person or control the situation, I think this can blossom. Um, it definitely will take some time. I'm hearing five months or five weeks, okay? Mwah, and I hope that resonated. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye.